Personal formation plans don't start with a graph and calendars and pen and paper. It actually starts with an introspection. What is it that you desire from God? What, what kind of relationship and a longing do you have for God? Because what we see through the scriptures, what we see in life, what we know is that our desires, our longings, our hopes actually guide and steer us. And so as you begin to make a personal formation plan, perhaps one of the first, like, most important things to do from the get-go is to try to look inward and think, what is it exactly that I desire? And desires can wane, uh, Ruth Barton writes in her book on spiritual formation. Desires can wane. They can come up and down through seasons, through hard and good. But what happens when we put our desire on knowing and living a full life towards God, what happens over time is that those desires become deep and strong and lasting. And if you talk to any kind of older person who's been walking with Jesus for a long time, what you'll discover is that their desire for God increases more and more. Uh, as the psalmist says, so as the deer desires and longs for water, so my soul longs for God. And what that means is, is that we have to kind of even develop a thirst and a longing for God. And so we've included a really helpful podcast episode uh, that features Ruth Haley Barton talking about desire. And what we encourage you to do is to listen to that first uh, and process uh, that interview first, uh, spend time praying, uh, discuss it in your DNA group before you even begin saying, how am I going to read my Bible? How am I going to pray? How am I going to Sabbath? How am I going to exercise? How am I going to, like, it has to start with that, that initial desire. And that's what we encourage you to do.